Hi hi, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a video that is a little bit different to what I normally do. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I am a fibromyalgia sufferer and um, I want to do some more healthcare videos on that. So what I thought today is I'm going to show you some things that I use when I am having a fibromyalgia flare up. Fibromyalgia is a pain condition that hasn't been fully understood yet. The most recent research that I have uh, found uh, conducted by um, experts in the field is that there is a sensory part of the of the brain which is getting like overstimulated. It, this is this part of the brain where they found increased inflammation in the brain is right next to uh, our kind of emotional processing area as well. So it's possible that there are links between our emotions and the stress that we get caused and this area getting inflamed. Um, but we still don't know exactly what does inflame this area. So when this area of our brain becomes inflamed, it then causes problems throughout our whole body. Um, and uh, I'll start with that one. Problems that I experience include fibro fog and uh, difficulty speaking. So um, you kind of feel like you're more drunk that you can't get your lips around the words properly. And um, fibro fog is, is like confusion, your brain going blank, you find it very hard to process things. So obviously if that part of your brain is getting aggravated and flared up, yeah, you're probably not gonna be processing things very well. Um, then there is a multitude of different pain symptoms uh, that people have said that they experience. So for me, it's widespread body pain. Um, it means that I some days cannot get out of bed, or if I do, I have very little ability to stand on two feet for very long. Um, I guess one of the most crippling things for me is in two areas. It's my legs and in my arms. So uh, when I have a fibro flare like today, the, I get pain uh, kind of in the, the, like the sit balls. If you ever do yoga, they refer to them as like the sit balls of like your, your bum, like come there, that bum muscle, like at the lower base of your back. And for me, what it feels like is kind of like ex extreme like fire inside my muscles, which also has with it extreme um, kind of numbness with the pain so it's like a combination of lots of pain but also nothing and it completely makes all my strength in my legs completely vanish um as if as if almost like that part of my body was just it's like suddenly paralyzed so if I often experience if I'm maybe flaring gonna flare soon like have a big one where I can't get out of bed and like walk around or carry things or do much often I will notice it when I've been at the supermarket because walking up and down the aisles it's you're actually walking for quite a fair amount of time and you're going past cold areas I'll talk about heat sensitivity in a moment um, and uh, you're also carrying things and pushing things you're doing more sort of physical things than you might might do say if you if you don't have a phys very physical day-to-day -day life. So I always try and get out and do the shopping as a way of uh, getting out of the house, even if I am flaring, because I want to try and keep my muscle strength, I want to try and have some kind of distraction from the pain that I'm going through, and often I'll be able to do that with my husband, and even though it's not like a, oh, a fun trip out, though we do make it fun because we're very silly and we go in the to toy aisles and play with all the toys. Anyway, um, it's kind of like a good distraction for me, so I will try to do it, and sometimes that can help, but sometimes it can make me worse. So yeah, we'll be halfway around the supermarket and I'll suddenly be like, David, we need to hurry up the shop, we need to go soon. And it's because my legs are suddenly giving way and I then have to hold on to all the, the, um, the, the shopping trolley or whatever just to keep myself going and it gets to just a point where it's not it's not it's not necessarily the the pain is so bad it's that the um 
I, I can't move anymore. Um, so, yeah, that's what the one main area where it affects me, because if I can't walk and I can't keep going, then that affects my daily life. That affects me. I can't, don't have much control in my car when it gets like that, so I can't drive uh, on those days. Um, or sort of like any heavy lifting, anything like that. So, yeah, not being able to get around, move myself around very easily or with pain. And then the other main area is my, my limbs, uh, my, my limbs, those were the limbs, but these are my other limbs. Um, and uh, what I get is, um, this I think was the first pain I used to get when it first all started up, was uh, here in my wrists, so right here and here. And it will feel like, again, like there's fire, like underneath my skin. And um, they're like a really kind of like achy, um, achy pain all the way like through and when it starts getting bad and they're doing it now is um, they start clenching and like I get kind of like <laughs> little boxy hands um, and I can normally tell it's getting bad when I've been in the kitchen I've been trying to sort out the dishes and then I suddenly start dropping mugs um, and um, yeah I, I'm really good at uh, smashing stuff in the kitchen when my hands start going um, and uh, yeah, it just feels like fire, and um, and and the same with like my lower limbs. So then, then the uh, the, the strength goes at the same time. So I can't uh, keep. I can't pick up pans and things. And um, I saw the occupational therapist, and she went through lots of ways in which to help me. So I might do a video on that actually, on um, ways that I've learned from the health professionals specifically of how to manage day by day. Um, so uh, yeah, those are the two main ways like I then can't really do things. So today what I'm going to talk about, <clears throat> I'm going to do a series of videos, different areas, is the like home, holistic home care things that I do to help myself feel better. When I am feeling like this, I find the most impactful things, is impactful a word? <laughs> Probably not, um, are temperature so hot things and cold things now I find that the weather does greatly influence the amount of pain that I'm in so today I have noticed that it's extremely windy and for me uh, changes in pressure systems so when it's windy there's like increased pressure in the air always triggers it if we're having a very rainy day very miserable muggy uh, kind of day yeah it will always trigger it if it's a clear beautiful sunny day I am normally fine as long as it's not too hot if it's too hot and my body's having to do extra work to cool myself down that can also trigger but if it's a nice beautiful calm day I normally nine times out of ten are fine unless I've been doing something very physically rigorous that week and that's what's triggered it but um, yeah so that's why today is rubbish <laughs> it's because the wind yeah hot and cold things do help me because hot and cold things affect me in a negative way they do actually also affect me in a positive way if I get them right so um, a first good example of this would be uh, I think my this is a really good flashback to my first ever video I created. I made a heat wrap. <laughs> this was a couple of years ago. So this is filled with rice. Ah, oh, just lifting it's painful. Basically, you can heat up rice in the microwave, put it in for two minutes. You can get a lot of these sort of heat wrap things in shops. Um, and uh, those are good, really good. So just put that on anywhere that you've got a intense pain spot. Another intense pain spot for me, which is why this is a good shape, is the right at the top of my spine. A lot of people with fibro seem to have um, extreme pain from there, whether they'll find out one day that that is something that's actually if triggering the brain as well do not know hopefully they'll get the bottom of it but that is a very core area right there um, which and I find I can't, it's very painful to put my chin on my chest when I'm having a flare so yeah heat wraps so the sort of normal rice ones are quite nice um, also my husband got me for Christmas one year it is um, it's basically filled with water or gel or something I think it's water 
but you heat it with electricity so it has a little slidey bit there where you plug in the the plug thing which is also very weird it's like a weird clamp that like plugs into it oh my gosh tired <laughs> and um yeah it heats it up with electricity it's like an electric hot water bottle which to me is kind of like a terrifying idea water and electricity but it's like all sealed and stuff if i find a link for it i will link you it's got a it's got a slip here so like i can put it on my wrists when they're really painful um i could put both my hands in there and then put it on my like on my chest i get intercostal rib pain um and I can put it like on my tummy or if, if you're on your period it's really nice for that too I think that's more what it's maybe for um, but yes I would suggest getting one of those um, absolutely I will try and find a link for you all these items I will try and link you below some of them might be affiliates so any um, any earnings I make from it will go towards helping me create more videos on this channel um, so those are those are like hot things. Also, definitely baths. Baths are fantastic. I was advised by my occupational therapist not to have a bath when I'm too tired, because then getting out is really hard. But then I find baths are so good. So, um, yeah. So along with the heat and cooling, um, another couple of products which I use quite really frequently. Uh, this one, the labels will come off, but this is Tiger Balm and you can get this in any boot, you get it online, I'll leave you a link for it um, and um, Tiger Balm is phenomenal I think it's the the best kind of like intensive um, gel cream balm that you can I'm gonna put this one out that you can, it's just clear uh, that you can apply that has such an intensive uh, temperature effect so Tiger Balm or this one is that I like the clear one because the red one I find doesn't work for me so well and the red one stains things whereas the clear one doesn't and the clear one is more intensively cooling. Um, it just is really cool. It has got, if I can read the destroyed label, um, it normally comes in a little box so if you can't find it, it the box normally has like Tiger Balm written on it. It's normally like a kind of like a a red or white box. I think this one's gone in a white box with the the logo. Um, I will talk about smell in a minute, but this uh, the smell the smell is amazing, and it because it has in it. Do 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 do. It has got mint oil. It's got paraffin, yellow soft paraffin and hard paraffin. I believe it has something like camphor oil in it can't read that bit because it has destroyed um, but I think it has like eucalyptus oil um, uh, like uh, and eucalyptus is fantastic for muscle pain um, yeah I'll talk about like aromatherapy oils in a moment as well so yes tiger balm I literally wherever I go if I am worried that I might have a flare which it could happen at any time I will always try and take some tiger balm with me if I'm going on holiday um, and the smell helps to relax me as well like the thing is with all of these things they will not make the pain go away but they will lessen it to an extent that it can make your life a little bit more manageable uh, another one that I really love so that was really cooling this one is really heating um, I've shown you some of these projects before I am a um, aloe vera forever, li forever living distributor and have been for many years um, and one of the products I adore from them is the aloe heat lotion I'll leave you a link to my store below um, and the heat lotion is the opposite to the white one uh, the tiger one um, and the good thing is it has aloe in it as well and it, if you rub it the kind of like the more friction you use to put it on your skin like the more it warms up um, so I, 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 yeah, it's just really lovely, especially if you can't sleep. A really good tip with this one is to put it on the, the soles of your feet. If you warm up the soles of your feet, it helps you to sleep. Fun fact for you there. So in my bath, I like to use pink rock salt. This one here, I got it because it was cheap at the time, but I'll link you to a rock salt that I approve of and would suggest. Um, especially try and get ones that do not have like additives um, or get bath salts which are mostly sort of like rock salt 
um, ones that might have like eucalyptus uh, included in it. I had a lovely one once that another YouTuber suggested um, and uh, it had, yeah, had a eucalyptus and like peppercorns and things. Anything that might be like slightly spicy or um, has uh, aromatherapy oils in would be a really nice bath salt but rock salt don't use bleach rock salt because then you start going absorbing stuff into your body you don't really want to be absorbing <laughs> um so yeah that's sort of like baths um this one has all i've used this one so much you can't even read it anymore um but i'll link you to this one because i get always get these ones because they're the cheapest ones uh this is a lips eucalyptus oil I'd also use lavender for relaxation. Anything that can help relax you with fibromyalgia is extremely helpful. Um, and also anything that stimulates different senses, um, bodily senses, so like change of temperature, smell. Yes, yeah, sound. Sound, smell, and temperature, uh, like or physical stimulation on the skin, those are all areas that you kind of want to like kind of play around with because certain things seem to help reduce that irritability in that part of your brain um, because you're stimulating your brain in different ways so that's kind of what you're trying to play with to try and find something that works for you one uh, other thing like smell wise that I adore is peppermint because peppermint you've got the combination of the smell which is really yummy but also th there's a cooling effect with peppermint when you put it in your bath water and then your whole bath is, you've got hot water, but it's also cooling. That feels really nice. Before I carry on, I just wanna show you something which is kind of uh, a vital thing to me, which is a really fantastic aid. Now, this is my <laughs> this was a my geek beer box, but it has become my treasure trove of pain relief items. And um, I went to a pain seminar when I first got uh, diagnosed with fibromyalgia. I was referred to the pain clinic, who then referred me to a pain seminar where I went and learned about lots of different things. And as a passing comment by the tutor, she said, "Oh yeah, some people make who are arty like to make um, like a pain action plan like box." I'll do this in another video, but um, I have a flare up action plan. If you're having a flare, you should go through in uh, order to help you feel better. Kind of like a plan like, oh damn, I'm in a lot of pain. What do I do now? And instead of freaking out and getting all stressed about it, follow the different path, the pathway that can help. But so basically when I'm having a pain flare, <laughs> my really cool box, <laughs> um, I have like attached uh, like pegs and stuff inside. And uh, like I put some pretty pictures of my little pony and stuff. And in here are all my items generally that I use to feel better. So I have the, the action plan here, like in more detail, and then I have a nice picture in there of me and my husband on our wedding day. So that instantly makes me feel nice. In my box, the other things that I use. There is a big, uh, like, kind of a movement obsession, especially with the young, cool kids, um, of squishies. So um, if I've got pain somewhere or my hands are tightening up, having a squishy in my box is really useful because um, I can try and strengthen my hands with the squishies and it also is quite therapeutic when you're kind of sitting there in pain just to squeeze something and pass it back to through your hands. So. Um, I've got this squishy, which is is a evil Hello Kitty one that I got in one of my You May Twins boxes that I unboxed in another video. I also have from the pain clinic. They wanted me to do. I'll show I'll show this in more detail in another video, but um, they gave me some. What's it called? Something putty. I might just call it pain putty. Um, and it's really hard. So when you squeeze, it's really hard. Um, but I'll show you at some point what exercises they advise me to do with that, just to keep up hand strength. So when I've got claw hands, um, it's just to keep them like mobilized. I have also in here 
the little book of calm which is um, uh, from um, I think it existed already but it was referenced in black books the TV series little book of calm so you open it um, at any page he swallows the little book of calm in the you have to watch it black books and he starts coming out with all these calm phrases um, so for example I'll just open this page randomly um, take all the time in the world contrary to what you may tell yourself you have all the time in the world to do whatever you choose what cannot be fitted into your day cannot be done forget about it so just saying like little things like that to yourself can help you feel relaxed and the more relaxed you feel the more likely your flare won't last so long also because of the pain in my wrists um, I have some of this lovely bright pink self sticky bandaging um, I'll give you a link to where you can get this stuff but I think I found this one in Wilco's Wilco's do this one and they do it in pink and I think they do it in white as well you can also get it in skin color but because it's stays self sticky for a while it's it kind of just you can just wrap it around anywhere that hurts and it just gives you that little bit of extra support when you've like lost all your strength and also it helps to warm that area that's in pain um, which for me can really really help um, to relieve it so sticky I put in here some different like painkillers and stuff my fibro might trigger my IBS so I'll put some like tablets with that in there I have some earphones in here just like little bud ones because I like to listen to relaxation music or ASMR I have in here more sort of like bandaging to go around my wrists when they hurt I also have um, I don't know if you've heard of these I'll explain them more at some point um, but they are called cups and these are not menstrual cups <laughs> they are for cupping and cupping is a holistic um, kind of like pain relief and what what cupping is often cupping has been done with like glass cups where they put a candle underneath the candle takes the air out it makes a pressure and the cups stick to your back kind of a bit like causing pressure in different areas of the body um, by sucking the skin basically so for example with the silicone ones you squeeze them and then put them on your skin and it creates a very specific point on your skin where it's pulling it and I find these quite useful to put on an area where there's significant pain so say my you can now see that there's a red mark there you see on my wrist here is an area which really always hurts it's right there I will put the intense bit there and put it on the skin and it will suck it and suck it and suck it and it will bruise if you leave it on for too long it might bruise even if you leave it on for a couple of minutes because everyone's skin is different but um, it kind of works in a similar way to like acupuncture or massaging because it's stimulating the cells and the pain receptors in that area it's 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 a different way of stimulating a part of your body to see if it will then hopefully calm down so you can see my skin has bubbed up right in there and um it's on there but i might i might leave uh, one of those on i wouldn't leave it on for a minute probably wouldn't do anything if you leave it for a minute i might leave one on for like 15 minutes you might quite likely to get bruised from that but the bruises go down uh the big ones i can put that top of my spine suck it in I don't know if you can be able to see it there and then get it so that it's really sucked it up and then that is like quite intense like pinching and uh, I might sit there for 15 minutes like that and you can kind of feel like ow that hurts but then when you take it off you then kind of get more relief so works for some people I will try anything with this silly condition <laughs> I got these off Amazon so I'll send you I'll put the link as always that's that's cupping and then I've also got like a picture of my wedding dress 
um, I also have like, oh, I found these Tiger Balm medicated heat wraps. So you have like, the, the, they're like plasters, medicated plasters that are for like stupid lighting. Medicated plasters that uh, you put on different areas of your body and they basically put Tiger Balm on that area and leave it kind of stuck on. Um, also I have like uh, like massage bars, these ones are like lush massage bars, the ones that you work up on your skin and, it, and then the oils come off. Um, so massaging anything that like stimulates your skin is something you want to try and do if you can, if you've got the strength to do it, if you've got someone else who can do it for you, uh, would be helpful. <laughs> I've got two more couple more two three more things to show you um, something else I like to do as a relaxation remedy is to pick a face mask and relax so I'll put one of these on um, I will make suggestions below as to what my favorite ones are maybe ones that have got like tea tree and eucalyptus and um, like really beautiful natural smells so oh, I always have a stash of these near my bed so this one is potentially potentially more controversial I won't go into too much detail then. Um, I have got a vape and I was never a smoker and I only started vaping when I learnt about the benefits of cannabidiol uh, and the usage of the legal part of the cannabis plant to induce relaxation. It can help people with different pain uh, issues. It has been proven to help a lot of individuals with epilepsy reduce their seizures as and just give them a general relief from pain. So I do have a very, very pretty, very, very gorgeously pretty vape got that from Amazon link below um, and uh, it I, I just I just love it this I used to have a really cheap one and then um, I I committed myself and this one is beautiful and that's so in here I also have different vape oils I like to mix up sort of like non nicotine ones with the cannabis oil to have different flavors like banana and blueberry and bubble gum and um, I'll do a video on kind of videos and what ones I would suggest as well because that's a whole other topic <laughs> and then my last uh, thing that I have in here when the pain is so bad that I'm screaming so sometimes the pain um, will progress into kind of like the next stage and it will be like nerve pain screaming down my body so like from one end of the nerve like to the other like and it'll scream up and down um, that then I, I cannot tolerate so I have a tens machine with like the sticky pads on the ends um, and I was gonna do a video about this a long long time ago and I just never got around to it the um, tens machine is another way of stimulating your skin your nerves to kind of go crazy and helps pain relief it helps um, to bring endorphins I think that's the right term of phrase I think it is endorphins to those parts of the body to kind of like help relieve the pain so if you put that on a very particular pain spot you might you'll have to go through the agony of the like being electrocuted <laughs> with, with electricity because that's how you get electrocuted um, through the, the intensity of this my hands are killing um, but you might find some relief afterwards so if you put that on for 15 minutes on an intense setting that's bearable it might actually break the cycle of whatever your body's doing when it's shooting those pains up and down your body so that one's kind of like I don't use it willy-nilly I use it when it's really bad so that my body doesn't become like tolerant to it I only try and use it when it is is really bad because it is uncomfortable to use anyway um, but a lot of people use it for like generalized back pain and, and different other medical issues so it is a recognized way of helping to reduce pain in a holistic way so I think that is all of the normal like day-to-day -day things that I use to help 
relieve the pain a bit, see if I can switch off whatever's going on in my head, switch off whatever it is that has triggered the flare to start with. Um, and like we said, we don't really know how to stop it. And um, the reason why we tend to use a lot of holistic methods is that medication has not yet been able to pinpoint the problem because we don't fully understand what the problem is and what is going on in our body. So yeah, I hope that these uh, pain relief and comfort inducing <laughs> sort of uh, tools and devices can help you if you suffer with fibromyalgia too. And if you want to talk with me or send me a message, please go ahead. But I'd like to do some more videos um, helping other people uh, with what I find helps me uh, because every little bit helps when you're suffering from a chronic pain condition So I will see you soon. Uh, I hope you take care and come back more for some lovely health advice <laughs> Take care. Bye